Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am actually out, outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and we are here with episode 466 and we're going to continue talking a little bit about the filming in San Francisco and I want to appreciate everyone who's been here, all the new people that subscribed. Uh, you know, the day before I left town to go up to San Francisco to you know, visit the set of Venom 2, I was at maybe two, uh, like 1950 something subscribers. So we were kind of floating you know, less than 50 subscribers away from 2000. We've been there kind of stuck for a while. And uh, it was awesome, you know, after, you know, meeting Tom and meeting Jake and, uh, and, you know, and putting stuff out on social media and you guys being so awesome on Instagram and on Twitter and stuff. And now subscribing to the channel and getting us over 2000 subscribers. I cannot thank you enough. And a lot of people mentioned it on my live stream. And I, you know, I said, they were like, hey, congratulations, your hard work paid off and everything. And I, I appreciate you guys feel that way. But really, we did all this together. I mean, that's what I really like, and, and that's what I want to embrace, is that we are Venom. And so this show is, you know, I, I would keep doing it, of course, if nobody watched it, because I like doing it. I, you know, I've tried to start a couple different shows on this channel before, and I've I've failed at a lot of them, and I've gave up on a lot of them um, that I probably shouldn't have. But Venom was just one that really clicked with me, and I really liked doing it. And then when I saw the type of people that were coming here to talk to me about Venom and how excited they were and the different, different opinions everyone had, but yet we were being very respectful to each other, and I really liked that. So together is how we got here, you know, but all of you guys helping out on Instagram, we've had a couple boosts over the past, like, you know, two years since doing this show from you guys, and it means a lot to me. So, uh, so yeah, you can thank me for, you know, pumping out content as often as I can, but I want to thank you for, you know, inspiring me to do that and for creating and helping you know nourish this parasite community that we you know embrace and that we're a part of and help it grow and and share it with people that you know and uh, and and tell people about it that's how we got here and i appreciate it very much because i didn't want to make a channel where i was just like a toxic yelling screaming person like i see a lot of times on youtube i just wanted to talk about what i loved and hope that other people would come along for the ride and it means a lot that you guys have so thank you very much for that um and yeah, we will do a, you know, a celebration episode. I will, I'll probably film it early next week, like Tuesday or something or Wednesday. I'm going to film an episode uh, for 2,000 sub subscribers. So, you know, be on the lookout for that, but you'll get it next week because we hit, I didn't expect it to happen. <laughs> so I need to work the next couple days and then my next day off is Tuesday. So I will record something then for you guys for sure. So with all that said and all the thank yous out of the way, let's get to the filming. So after the night I went to do the film, you know, went to the, the set and everything and saw what they're filming in the alley um, on uh, O'Farrell and and, and Jones, I think, were the streets. I don't mind giving them away now because obviously, you know, the, the shooting has already happened. And I have had a lot of people ask me, hey, man, can I can you give me the email that you use to, you know, reach out to the production so that you could, you know, uh, let Tom and everybody know that you were coming? And I'm like, no, I, I can't give that information away. And I've had people, you know, say like, hey, can you ask the, you know, the the director of the movie? Like, I don't know Andy Serkis at all. And I had saw someone leave a comment like, can you ask the director what the movie's rated? I'm like, so the questions of like what the movie's rated, can I reach out to Tom? Can I let you guys know where they're filming next? The answer to those is no, I'm sorry to say. Um, I, I just can't give away some of that information at all. Um, and so I, I hope you understand, you know, like, I, I mean, like now if they're filming somewhere and there's a picture of it, like I did the other day, someone said, hey, where are they filming the church stuff? I'm like, well, if you check my, the picture I posted, it has the name of the street name on it. So you'll, you should know, like, so, you know, try to be observant when I post stuff, because sometimes I will post things when I'm like, all right, this person took a picture. So I'll credit that person because I'm sharing their picture. So I'll credit them. And then they got the street sign in it. And I'm like, all right, there's how I'll let you know that they're filming at that location. Um, but that's, you know, so that's fine. Cause you know, Tom, you know, everyone there seems pretty, they're okay with like a crowd, you know, watching them film and stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, just don't be disruptive. If you go down there if you if you're part of any filming um just don't be disruptive you know be very polite be nice to everybody uh you know don't go there to, to you know you know fanboy out too much or fangirl out too much and, and cross the line you definitely don't want to do that because there are police there and there is security there and there's a you know they take that stuff very seriously so just go have a good time watch what they're doing and if you get a chance to meet you know one of the stars of the movie you know say hi to them and i'm sure they're going to be very nice to you i you know that's the, my experience anyway so there you go um and I'm sure it'll be your experience too if you if you handle it like that. So with this, you know, this night after you know what I saw, they were actually filming at a church. And then I really wished I stayed because 
Uh, I'm I'm kind of a, a broken Catholic in a lot of ways. It's one of the things I like about Eddie Brock too. And actually one of the things I like about Daredevil, Matt Murdock, um, is is that connection that they have uh, where, you know, they're not really church growers, but they maybe grew up as, you know, God fearing or, you know, or, or church going type people. And, um, and I, I always like that about those characters. And so when I saw the church and I saw you could see the church bells outside, I really freaked out and I thought, all right, cool. This could be really awesome. And, and, and while I'm talking, you might see some photos pop up online. There's been a lot of other people's photos and I might share one or two of those and I'll credit those people. But most of the photos in this, and I'm going to credit him too, is from our friend Blue Panda, uh, who I, you know, I met up there when we were at the filming and stuff. And he was someone I met on Instagram and he came down and met Tom and he was, he like lived nearby and he was able to get down there in a few minutes and meet Tom too. Um, really cool guy, really awesome. And uh, so I'll have a link to his YouTube channel and his Instagram down below. So that way you can follow him and check him out. And I hope that he's posting these pictures up there as well on his own stuff, on his own like sites and his stuff. And, uh, but uh, yeah, so the images that you might see and a couple of the videos, those are going to be from Blue Panda, but there might be one or two other videos, but I'm not going to share because there's a ton of photos that are getting leaked all over and I'm not going to go through and share every single one of them. That's not what I want to do here. I don't want to, you know, just repost everyone else's stuff or anything like that. I mean, we'll take a couple little things here and there, but mainly we're here for the conversation uh, because I want to theorize and I want to hear your theories about what this could mean, this church scene. Uh, so they had rain towers there. Um, I heard that Cletus Cassidy or Woody Harrelson was on set. I heard that uh, potentially Michelle Williams and uh, Tom Hardy, I know Tom Hardy was on set obviously because he got pictures with fans and stuff, um, but uh, but I think he was there with Woody. Someone said maybe Michelle Williams was there and they and that her and uh, Eddie, you know, or Tom Hardy, they were running from like a SWAT team and they were being chased around the, the church uh, from a, by a SWAT team. So I don't know if that's true or not. Um, if Eddie's running with Anne and he doesn't have the symbiote, I'm curious if if that's the case. Because this again, this is a rumor, and I didn't I don't I don't I didn't come across any pictures at least with Michelle Williams there running with him. I just saw a video of like you know a SWAT team members running in. But I didn't see anything with Michelle Williams. So I'm going to just take that up as a rumor right now. Uh, but I wanted to mention it because if it is true and Eddie's running around with her, why is Eddie running around with her? And why isn't Venom like side, side by side with her? And so I'm kind of curious what's going on, what, the, what that could mean for the relationship of Eddie and Venom. Or is, has Venom been defeated and taken by Carnage at this point? Maybe Carnage, because remember in the comics, they did that really cool thing where Venom ate Carnage and like absorbed him for a short time. I was thinking that I was like, what if Carnage does that to Venom in this movie? And so Eddie, without powers, kind of without a symbiote, has to go into the final battle um, against Cletus slash Carnage and then somehow find a way to get his suit, you know, or Venom suit out of, you know, Carnage. Again, this is me just wildly speculating. I think I'm probably way off on all this. Um, but I was just thinking, why would Eddie just be there with Anne and why wouldn't he turn into Venom? Uh, why wouldn't he just like pick her up and jump, you know, building to building and get away from the cops? So that's why I was thinking that. Um, the other thing, though, is I heard the main point of this uh, was after the SWAT team or whatever that that scene was shot, that there was uh, rain towers put in and that it was a fight between Eddie and Cletus. Um, and some people were theorizing that it was the final fight of the movie. And if that's the case, uh, I am really excited because one of my favorite comic book movies, actually my absolute favorite comic book movie is The Crow. And that movie ends with a, a wonderful fight scene on top of a church uh, between the man, um, uh, played by Michael Wincott, and uh, Brandon Lee, who plays Eric Draven. And there's a great fight on top of the church there. And it's in the rain, and it's like, you know, in night, you know, and as they finish the battle, the sun is starting to come up. And it's wonderful. It's beautifully shot at, by Alex Prayez and his team. And it looks fantastic. And I all I could think of in my head was, oh, man, if this is the final battle at a church in the rain, how cool is that? That's just like the crow. Um, you know, not exactly like the crow, but it's very similar, you know, and and uh, and I just that made me smile because I was like, oh, man, that would be great to have that kind of setting and have them fight at a church. And what kind of pivotal moment would be there? What would happen at that church? And uh, and I think there was a photo or two of some stuff maybe going on inside the church where it was like a bunch of people on a yoga mat. But I don't know if that was really connected to Venom 2 or not. I, I, I can't remember. Um, but uh, but yeah, so any of the anyway. So those are some of the photos you saw from Blue uh, Blue Panda, our friend, um, and then also, or Blue Panda NW, and then also maybe a couple other little things sprinkled in. But I want to hear what you think, like, you know, if this is the final battle, uh, you know, what do you want to happen? Like, you know, obviously it's, you know, and I, I made, remember I made that joke earlier, like, oh, I bet you this movie is going to end with a final battle between Venom and Carnage, uh, you know, because that's how I was like 
poking fun at you know somebody for guessing that there was going to be a prison break scene in the movie it's like well of course cletus has to get out of jail so that makes sense and then so it's easy dot connecting and then same with that it's like of course the movie is going to end with venom versus carnage um so you know if this is true and if this is an end fight scene i'd love to know what you guys think i mean that would be so great they're in the rain symbiotes going at it you know the humans going at it um i hope they do it a little bit differently than how you know maybe like uh you know the first movie did because where it was i mean it was interesting to an extent but the way it was kind of shot felt a little sloppy at times. Although that one slow-mo shot of the two of them and the suits coming out of them, that was kind of neat. Uh, so I'm not looking for anything kind of like that. Maybe something a little grittier. I think Cletus Cassidy, like I really try to think of the psychology of people before they get into a fight scene. So like Eddie comes across as a scrapper. You know, he's like I mentioned that in my live stream that he's a guy who constantly gets beaten down and beaten up. But he ultimately wins the fight in the end because he has the heart to do it. Um, so he's got like the heart of a hero, but he, he's got the brain of like a, an idiot sometimes. And uh, and so, you know, him, he loses a lot, but, you know, battles. But ultimately he might win the war, you know, in, in a lot of instances. And uh, that's what I like about Eddie. And he doesn't give up. He keeps bouncing back. And uh, I think Donnie Cates calls him the comeback kid. And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's not too far off. That's a pretty interesting um, characterization of Eddie because he is. He's a guy who's like always down, uh, but yet he keeps moving forward somehow. Um, even when he gives up, he finds a way to bounce back, you know, or life finds a way to, you know, push him to bounce back. Uh, he seems destined to be here to do something. Um, and, and so he keeps coming back for that reason. So, yeah, I like that. Uh, so... Seeing that, you know, seeing, thinking about that in this fight, you know, I want to see him be more of a scrapper. And Cletus is a serial killer. He's someone who's kind of maybe a little stealthy or maybe someone who, you know, goes for the, you know, directly as a juggler. I describe Cletus Cassidy as a knife. Um, he is to the point. He comes right at you. Uh, and that he's kind of his weapon of choice, too, as a serial killer a little bit. So, yeah, and then the, the blades he makes with his fingers and stuff. So, uh, and we're going to talk about that. The next video, we're going to, there was a, like a, a video that went online, and I'll credit the person. We'll talk about it in the next episode, where there was like a, a rubber carnage arm used in a scene. Uh, so it was, it's kind of our first kind of teaser at carnage. So we'll talk about that in the next episode. Um, but, you know, I, I kind of want that to be their fighting style and I want the the symbiotes to like elevate that or like you know mimic that somehow so if Carnage is a little sneakier I'd like to see his symbiote move around Eddie and try to attack him from different angles from the side or the back or something like that and then with Eddie like I said I kind of want him to uh, to kind of be more of like a uh, you know a scrapper like if he's going to lo keep losing the fight um, you know he comes back in the end they did that a little bit in the first movie but he's kind of a brawler you know like a bare knuckle brawler a little bit he's not he doesn't have a, a ton of fighting experience I'm guessing but I'm hoping that's something they add into this movie because obviously Tom takes jujitsu and he takes different martial art, uh, arts classes and stuff and, and trains. Um, that'd be cool to know, like Eddie going, you know what, after our last encounter where we basically almost died and we and we we got our butts kicked by riot let's let me actually learn how to fight a little bit and that way it might enhance you and you can enhance that power so that'd be cool if this movie starts off and eddie's like you know someone who does take jujitsu and has learned to fight um because that would be useful like that would be actually useful for the character um and then it's also you know tom does that in real life so it'd be you know it, it'd be cool to integrate that into the character uh but i want to hear you know again what do you think what kind of fight styles do you would you like that though you know these guys to have um you know are you excited that this could be the, the final you know we might actually know the movie's finale alley setting is that it's going to be in front of a church in the rain what what's going to get involved are they going to pick up like statues of michael and lucifer and throw them at each other um and i was thinking of that too like michael and lucifer like you know the like certain parallels of you know these beings that come down to earth and uh, and carnage is born but he's like he's he falls from grace in a way or he goes immediately to the side of evil um you know and it's kind of i was like oh that could be neat to play with like those kind of themes in a in a venom movie um i don't know if they will or not but i just think picking a church is a very interesting setting especially for a character like eddie brock who does have connections in the comic books to church and stuff like that so uh again let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, we'll continue our conversation down there and i'm also going to throw up some images here because these were just you know popped up last minute um, um, but these are from Greg Williams, I think, photography. Greg Williams. We mentioned him in season, I think, one and two, I believe, of the show. And he's a phenomenal photographer. And I guess he was on set this day, and he was able to take some black and white photos of, you know, Tom Hardy and of uh, Tom and Woody Harrelson. I think Tom, one with Tom and Kelly Marcel, the writer of the movie, and then also Tom and Kelly Marcel and a Andy Serkis. So there's some really great images here that I'm going to just pop up real quick so you guys can get a look at them. And I'll link, uh, you know, Greg's art, you know, his, his art, his uh, photography 
photography down below. I'll put that link down below so you can check out his Instagram and follow him because he posts really beautiful stuff. Uh, and he shoots a lot in black and white too, which I'm a huge fan of. So uh, so when I saw these images, I freaked out. I was like, this is so awesome. So uh, again, there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts about the church battle down below. We'll continue our conversation down there and then we'll have more theories in our next video when we talk about Cletus Cassidy, uh, his interaction with this police officer character who may be Detective Mulligan and it might be Stephen Graham. I still couldn't make out who the actor was, um, but you'll get to see like a prosthetic arm for Carnage and it's really long and wicked looking. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look at that in the next episode. So make sure you're subscribed so you come back and be here for that one because I want to hear your thoughts on that episode as well. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.